Hi everyone, today I want to talk about kind polymorphism, or, well, actually, the lack of kind polymorphism. See, the problem is, or, or rather, in my opinion, Haskell 98 has a design flaw in that it doesn't support kind polymorphism. Let me explain. If I write the function in Haskell, apply fx equals fx. So this just takes any argument, and it takes two arguments, and then it's going to apply one to the other. We can quickly infer this type, I'll click on it to insert it into the code, that it should work for any, uh, any argument type and any result type. If we just do this at the type level, let's see what happens. If I write, uh, let's make it a data type. If I say data app f a equals mook app f applied to a, well, it doesn't show it here. Maybe it should in HLS, but, but uh, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, and then now maybe I can ask, what is the kind of app? Well, the kind of app here is very monomorphic. So this star, um, I'm, in, I'm still in GHC 8.10.7 for the best HLS uh, compatibility. So here, what we would now normally write as type, it's just going to print out a star, but it's saying that app takes star to star to star to star. So that's actually somewhat restrictive. There's a much better type for app, which we'll see in a few minutes. This can matter. Um, I can write code that should work here with app, but does not. Um, so let me, let's see how can I do that. So I need something that's not of this kind. So let's say if I take a, a data type, I'm going to call it at int, and it takes some uh, type parameter, and then it's just going to look at int, and it's going to apply f to int. So f here, now I can see what is the kind of at int. It is, it takes an, its argument, goes from type to type, and then, of course, at int is itself a type. Um, and I can see what is the kind of maybe. Well, the kind of maybe is type arrow type, so it's a good argument for at int. Um, so now I can write on at int, which might say at int maybe to maybe int, and this should work out just fine. Uh, I'm going to match here and then just return all as well. Right. This is just to sort of show you what's what's going on here a little bit. Um, but the problem now is going to be is that I want to do on both, and we're going to take app of at int to maybe, and then turn this into a maybe int. And really, it should work if I say on both of mook app of mook at int x equals x. The problem is going to be that we're going to get some errors. Expected kind star arrow star, but at int has this other kind. And that's because app here was inferred to have this monomorphic kind. So it doesn't like at int because at int doesn't conform to the expectations that GHC had when it chose the kind of app. So that's quite strange here. If we, if we think about it, right, app should just take the first argument and apply it to the second. So app at int maybe should really mean the same thing, modulo this data constructor um, of at int maybe, but clearly it's not working. So I said that this is a design flaw in Haskell 98, and we can sort of expose this because there's some weird, sort of, uh, weird effects that we can get. What's really going on here is that when GHC sees this definition, it says, well, what's the type of f? Um, it's going to uh, it's going to say that f, we don't know what f is right off the bat, so f is going to have some type kappa 1. Uh, we're going to use Greek letters to denote things that we're solving for. And then what's the kind of a? Well, it's going to be kappa 2. We also don't know what that is. And then here we see f a. So that tells us, ah, so that tells us that kappa 1 must really be some kappa 3 to kappa 4, right? Because f is being used as a function. It also then says that the result of f is, in fact, a type because it's the, um, it's the type of the thing that's passed into macap. So then that tells us that kappa 4 really has to be type. And then we see that a is the argument to f, so that has to match up with kappa 3. So then we also get that kappa 3 is... Uh, kappa 2. So in the end, this infers that app has to be, or rather I should say f, has to have type kappa 2 to type, and a still has to kind kappa 2. 
And at this point, we don't get no more information. Haskell 98 has a rule that says in the absence of any further information, then we just, anything that's not solved yet, we just choose it to be type. So we're gonna default kappa two to type, and then that's what infers this kind for app. Well, what's strange here is that if I add a little bit more information, then, we're, then this defaulting is going to change behavior. So if, for example, I make app and at int mutually recursive, oh, that's not gonna quite work the way that I want it to. Aha, I know what I can do. Um, if I say data x, it doesn't really matter, equals mook x app at int maybe, right? This is the type that really should work. At, app at int maybe is a perfectly sensible thing except for this defaulting step. But now all I have to do is make it so that GHC looks at X before being done with app. And I can do that by making app and X mutually recursive. So just by having this other constructor that refers to X, now GHC says, oh, app and X are mutually recursive. So it's gonna do all this kind of inference all at the same time. Now, the kind of app is the kind that works to apply at int to maybe, and you see down here that this also works. So the fact that just by changing the recursion structure changes the inferred kind, that tells you that there's something very weird going on here. The other thing I can do is instead of referring to this x here, I can get rid of that. Um, and then now, oh, now this x is out of scope. Now we, we, we get our problem down here and the kind of app resets to this, oh, uh, oh, it can't do that because down here, uh, forget about that then. Um, the other way I can do this is I can have an other constructor which says f maybe. So now here, this f maybe gives a little bit more information to this type inference process, and it means that we're going to get a, the, the correct kind for app, and now suddenly down here, this gets accepted. So again, this is a case of something slightly strange going on. I shouldn't have to do this other constructor trick. And in Haskell 98, there's no other way to do it because we don't have kind annotations. With polykinds, we don't have this problem. So now I'm gonna delete that. Now we're back into this erroneous case. But if all I do is enable polykinds, in 9.2, this is automatic because polykinds is enabled by default, but I'm in 8.10.7 here. Um, then, oh, this has been sticking around for some time. That's silly. Um, now all is well. This process still all happens the way that it happened before, but except this step doesn't happen anymore. There's no defaulting because we can just make app be kind polymorphic. And we can see this if I refresh here and we see that indeed the kind of app is k um, to type to k to type. And we can see this even better if I tell sort of the, the baked in GHCI thing that I want to print explicit kinds and I evaluate that and then now refresh that, oh, it doesn't really work that way? Bah, it doesn't work that way. Okay, never mind. skip that. Um, so uh, uh, let's see. Here, now instead of that defaulting step, we just say kappa two, we don't know what it is, so it's gonna be some polymorphic variable. This is just like the way that GHC infers the type of apply. The only difference here is that because I've used the result of FA as a type passed into Mac, uh, to, as the type of the argument passed to the McApp constructor, we do know that its result is type. So it's not exactly the same as apply. Um, but now down here, we get some nicer behavior. Um, at int, by the way, doesn't change because this is enough to fully fix the type of F. Um, but this kind polymorphism saves the day. Now, there's still one wrinkle. And that wrinkle is, is that in the implementation, it turns out that kind polymorphism is just so much easier to implement, actually, than not having kind polymorphism. This defaulting step gets in the way, and in more and more elaborate scenarios, we can end up with trouble. So I've recently proposed that, in fact, we get away with the lack of kind polymorphism and, and, and make it so that polykinds is always on with no way to turn it off. Supporting no polykinds in GHC has become difficult. Um, now, there are some obscure cases where that's going to cause trouble. So I just want to explore one obscure case um, in sort of the last bit of this video. Uh, and so to do that, what we need to have is we need to have a module like poly here that has polykinds enabled 
and with a poly um, uh, a poly kind of definition like app that then gets sort of defaulted the wrong way, uh, or or rather not the wrong way, but it gets defaulted. Let's just see. I'm not going to try to foreshadow. Let's just see what happens. We're going to need a new module. So I think I can do that with that command here. Um, and let's see. So this is going to be module mono where now a clever VS Code would know that I want to name this mono.hs, but I don't think I have we have quite enough smarts there yet. So we have mono.hs. I'm going to import poly just to be super explicit about it and so that it's compatible with 9.2. I'm going to put no poly kinds up at the top. And here, um, this app will be mono kinded. Um, or rather, if I say something like my app equals app, now if I ask what is the kind of my app, well, my app is going to get a defaulted kind. Um, okay, can that really cause harm? Um, so the harm that I'm worried about is, what if I got this mono module to compile, but enabling polykind made it stop compiling? So here, turning on polykind is going to change the kind of my app. But I'm not so worried about that as long as the new type is, is more general, which it is. I'm more worried about a case where the defaulting allows a program to be accepted that wouldn't be accepted otherwise. Now, the only way I can think of doing that is via some class. So let's go back to poly. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Can I drag this down here like that? There we go. And so here in the poly module up top, um, I'm going to create a poly kinded class C. Um, and let's see, I want an instance for C when the argument is a certain kind. So specifically, it's going to be the kind that app would get defaulted to. Um, oh, and we're going to need a method here. So here, I'm going to have to take some proxy for A. Let's, let's import proxy. Um, OK, this is good. Oh, we also need to import data.kind, of course. Um, and now illegal instance declaration. I guess we need flexible instances for this. OK, and now we're, I don't know, they're not green. Oh, we're, we're yellow. Um, oh, no explicit implementation where math is going to ignore the proxy and just return five. OK, so then in here, in my no polykinds module, um, I, I, I'll leave that, may as well leave that around. But down here, I'm going to say x is an int, and x equals meth specialized to app. Oh, here I need proxy again. Now, this, I believe, compiles. Does it? I don't know. It's not green. I don't know what exactly the significance of that is. But if I evaluate x, oh. Oh dear. Well, that's strange. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Ah, but it sorted itself out just by clicking again. And X is indeed five. So the reason that this works is that here I have app. And because I'm in a no poly kinds module, that gets defaulted to have kind type arrow, type arrow, type arrow, type. And so we can do this instance choice. If I change this to have poly kinds, as I've proposed to do, because I want to disable no polykinds, remove that from GHC, then now down here we get an error. Um, oh, oh, I don't want all of that stuff. I just want the error, please. Thank you. Uh, so ambiguous type variable. We can't solve for this instance because we don't know how to specialize app. We've lost a little bit of information. Type inference is no longer clever enough to do this. I don't think that this case is going to come up in practice. So the proposal explicitly says that after removing no polykinds, we will search around for cases that no longer work, um, including in head.hackage, which is a um, sort of a small slice of hackage that, that has a bunch of quite fancy programs in it, actually, just, just to see if turning off polykinds everywhere causes any trouble. I don't think it will. Uh, but I thought it was kind of interesting to explore how it might, and so this is what it does. I hope this has been interesting. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.